Hello, 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 my good people, and welcome with Cooking with Camille. Today we're going to do a quick and easy meal. We're going to make some coney dogs, quick and easy, and some cream, broccoli, and cheese soup, okay? I'm going to need some cream and broccoli and cheese soup. So, you're going to need, I got my hamburger for my... Uh, Coney dogs, and I got my beef hot dogs. I got oops, some cheese over here for my um, for my soup. I got some good hot dog buns split on the top. This is gonna be good. I got some coney sauce. Uh, we're gonna mix it with the hamburger. I got some parsley flakes. We're gonna need some carrots. We're gonna need some chicken base. We're gonna need some Italian seasoning, some basil. Uh, pepper and uh, uh, two stalks of celery and onion. That's what I forgot. Two stalks of celery and onion. I gotta cut it all up. So go ahead and prep your stuff because I gotta prep mine and I'll be back. I got the water boiling for the hot dogs, the water boiling for the soup, and I'm gonna get the hamburger started. Okay, first of all, we're gonna Wash your broccoli real good, and then we're going to cut it in crowns. Cut it, um, well, cut it however you want. Let me get a big knife. We're going to, um, we're going to cut it however you want. So what I'm going to do, and the worst, don't throw away all the stems. The stems are good. That's what makes the soup. Okay, we're going to make, I'm going to leave them kind of big because I want them kind of on the chunky side. And take some of them stems and throw in there too. Okay. Uh, cut it in half. And some of them stems. I want some of them stems. Because we're going to boil these uh, broccoli until it gets done. So break them up. And we're going to cook it till it gets tender. And then we're going to add our chicken broth. But I'm not going to cook all this broccoli. I'm going to say some because... But later on in the week, I got another recipe I want to use with the broccoli. So I want to use it early because broccoli do not stay long, okay? So we'll probably do something maybe tomorrow with it, okay? So I'm not going to do all of it. Just do some of it. So um, that's it, okay? You're going to pour that in your, uh, your broccoli in there. That was off my cutting board, but I put in there. We're just going to put it in there and let it cook. Till it get almost tender. Put it in there. Make sure you wash it good before you put it in there. Okay? And we're just going to let that cook. Cook a while. And put the lid on it and let it steam. It ain't going to take too long. Maybe about 15 minutes. We'll let that steam. Then we're going to come over here. And make our sauce. Right? Add a little olive oil in there and brown your hamburger. First of all, I think I'm going to brown my onion and celery to go in my soup so it can be cooking with the broccoli. Okay, our oil is hot. I got, I changed it. I put one suck of celery, half of an onion, and two garlic cloves, large garlic cloves. So we're just going to saute this. Some Italian seasoning, about one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, which that's going to give flavor to our soup. We're going to also add some onion powder. And we're going to add some garlic powder. Uh, half, uh, I'm sorry, half a teaspoon of uh, garlic powder and a half teaspoon of onion powder. And then we're going to um, saute it until it comes a golden brown. Garlic powder. And we're going to put a little everything seasoning on here too. Everything.
put the seasoning a little bit. And we're just gonna saute it. And then we're, then we're gonna season our um, our um, soup that much. So we're just gonna saute that. Then after we do these onions and celery, then we're gonna do our hamburger. Uh, I'm gonna put our hot dog on. Cause my husband like to boil the heck out of a hot dog because he don't want to taste no salt in a hot dog. So I'm going to boil them. And these beef hot dogs, they ain't that salty, but he think it is. Okay, the broccoli is cooking. I'm going to add, I'm going to start off with a half a tablespoon of the chicken base. I'm going to put a little more because that wasn't a half until you get the flavor you want. Now you can use bouillon cubes or you can use beef I mean, uh, chicken stock, whatever you prefer. Chicken stock, you ain't got to go through all this. But I like the base because you can get the flavor that you want. The base tastes better. You could do better. You could add what you want because some people don't like it too salty. Some like it salty. You can add where the beef bouillon, it ain't salty enough for me. That's why I don't like using uh, uh, the beef bouillon in the box. I don't like that. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to wait and see what... Let it dissolve and then we'll uh, continue to saute our onions and celery and our garlic. Okay, now we're going to add our vegetables. Look at that, y'all. Don't that look just good? Here's our vegetables, sauteed vegetables. We're going to add that. And guess what, y'all? Those That little half a tablespoon was just perfect. Just perfect. But you add it because I got a small pot. It's not a big pot. So add what you need. We're just going to let that cook in there. Continue to cook until the it gets tender. Now we're going to keep that skillet and we're going to saute our hamburger for our um, for our coney sauce. Okay. Then I say that hamburger I have left, this is what we're using it for. <laughs> so I'm going to Add the same thing to the hamburger. I'm going to cut up an onion and some garlic in here. We're going to add Italian seasoning. One teaspoon of Italian seasoning. An onion and garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of garlic salt. Not garlic salt, garlic powder. And a half a teaspoon of onion powder. Then I'm going to use some of uh, Carmen Seasoned Blend, her smoked barbecue seasoned blend. I'm going to add a little bit of that in there. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm get my Onion powder. That's almost done. There you go. Got a little more over here. Okay. I'm going to have to buy some more of this. Might as well finish using that up. Okay. I'm just going to stir fry that until we get good and uh, brown. Let me cut the onion up for that. I want to tell you, don't forget to add about a half a teaspoon of basil in our soup. We can't cook without basil. We need the basil. And then one teaspoon of parsley flakes. Even if you go over a little, it's fine. Parsley flakes. And then we're going to add uh, uh, canned carrots as soon as that cook a little bit. Then add your one clove of garlic and your other half of your onion to your meat mixture. Now you don't have to do hamburger. You can just get the can of manwich and add to your hamburger. Whatever you want to do. Or just use, uh, you know, they got the chili in the can. Just use the chili in the can where you don't have to go through all this. For me, I want some meat. 
because the chili in the can, it don't have enough meat in it. I want to taste my meat on my dog because I want to make sure that dog don't bark, okay? All dogs got meat, <laughs> my, especially my dogs, okay? So we're going to continue to cook this until it's brown. Now that our uh, broccoli is cooking with the seasoning, I'm going to taste it to see how it tastes. Perfect, y'all. Perfect. Now that we got that, we're going to uh, put a can of carrots in there. I was going to get shredded carrots, but I forgot them. So we got to use what we got in the house. So I had some canned carrots. But these were big carrots, so I kind of diced them a little bit. So it won't be so gawky in the soup. So I kind of diced them. Because the last carrots I got was real small and it turned out nice. So... Add that to your mixture and stir that. Let me get a spoon. Stir that and let that continue to cook and then we'll add our, let that cook about five more minutes and then we'll add our milk and thicken it up. Go ahead and melt your butter and make a roux. Or some people you can also stir fry your vegetables and then add your chicken broth. But if you have the bu um, the bucket of broth, add your broth to your onions and celery, and add your broth, and then thicken it before you put your broccoli. And then add your water and broth, and then add your broccoli and cook. But I like to do it this way. Then I thicken it last because I want my broccoli to be done. I don't want it to be uh, undercooked, but I do want it to be crunchy. Uh, soft and crunchy, kind of on the crunchy side. I don't want to be soggy. Now that our hamburger's done, we're going to um, drain it and add my little, um, like a sandwich like thing to my sauce. It's almost like a chili sauce. Leftover chili sauce I had in the freezer. I'm just mixing it together. So that's what it really is, chili mixed up that I had left over in the freezer. I just thawed it out and added it to my chili dog. So why not chili? So you can make chili or a manwich, whatever you prefer. But I had this in the refrigerator and that's what I'm gonna use. And we're just gonna let that simmer. Simmer a little bit. Okay. If you use manwich or whatever, make sure you clean your cans. Uh top of your cans. Okay, we're going to let that simmer. Okay, we're going to add a little pepper to it and add a little pepper to our soup. Okay. And let that continue to cook. We're going to let it go for about five more minutes. Okay, now you're going to use about a, a cup or half a cup, well, let's say a half a cup of heavy milk or a cup of uh, 2% or homogenized, whatever you prefer. I'm going to use 2%. Okay. Just the, uh, the heavy cream. If you want heavy cream, if you want it thicker, but we're going to add a root to it. Then I'm going to take my roux and, and just keep stirring. So you get the thickness that you want. And once you add it, the more you let it cook, the thicker it gets. And then we'll add our cheese to it. That was just, uh, I used uh, one stick of butter, one stick of butter and some flour. Or you can use heavy cream. If you, like I said, if you started at the beginning, you can use, uh, thicken it with the flour and butter first. It's up to you what you want to do. 
Okay, we're just going to let that thicken up and let that set a little bit and let it thicken. When it starts thickening, we'll add our cheese. Okay, I got the thickness that I want. I want to take you up closer. You can see it, see it. Get a spoon. See, that's just, I don't want it too thick, but it's thick. I'm going to let it simmer. Add the cheese to it. And it should be good to go. Uh, you can add cheese if you want. I'm going to add um, Mexican style cheese. Just add that to it. And stir it. More cheddar will make it turn more redder. And just stir it up. That's going to thicken it also. Ooh, we y'all. Ooh, we y'all better ask somebody. So I can see it feel it thickening up now. I can feel it a little bit. You know, I got some cheddar in the refrigerator. I can use up. I just thought about it. Yeah. Yes. 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 That's enough cheese. I'll be spending the night in the bathroom. I ain't supposed to have the milk. No milk products, but I'm going to eat it. I just got to go take a Benadryl. I can't do nothing. No, no pork. I can't do no macaroni. Can't do no cheese. Can't do no milk products. But y'all, our cheese, our soup is ready. So I'm going to clean up real quick and fix the plate. Okay, here we go, everybody. Cream of broccoli and cheddar soup with a coney dog. I got ketchup and mustard underneath it with some um, coney sauce, onion, and cheese. Ooh, y'all, y'all better ask somebody. Gotta find my spoon. Hold on. So we can taste it. Hold on. Hot, gotta blow it. Mm. Mm. Mm, y'all. Mm. Mm. I can't say um mm. enough times. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. That is good. That is great. Okay, y'all. Today is the last day to subscribe. I will be, if I don't draw the names tonight, I will draw them tomorrow. Um, you have to comment on YouTube to win that prize tomorrow. Okay, today's the last day to comment. All you got to do is go on YouTube and comment just one time on one other thing uh, from the last drawing. It goes from drawing to drawing, okay? Y'all have a blessed day. God bless you. Coney dog, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. A beef coney dog with coney sauce and onions, and ketchup and mustard, and cream of broccoli soup. Cream of broccoli and cheese soup, y'all. And guess what, y'all? It only took 50 minutes to make. 50 minutes. How? And probably would have been easier if I had all my stuff cut up. Okay? All right. Please like, subscribe to YouTube, share. Please share, help a sister out, okay? Don't forget to subscribe to my girls, Deborah Shropshire, who sell paparazzi, um, uh, Linda, um, who sells uh, sprinkles, uh, and Carla Porters, who sells baskets. Okay? Okay, y'all. Have a good day. Hold on one second. Sorry, I want to get the name right. April Linder. I don't know why I'm there. I just go blank when I say her name. April Linder. She the one that sells the sprinkles. Okay, y'all? Look them up on Facebook. I mean, on Facebook, their names are there. 
uh, look up um, Sprinkles uh, and look up Paparazzi and look up Baskets by Carla. Okay, guys. Goodbye. See you later. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that comment button. Say a comment to win the prize. Bye-bye.